Hey everybody. Do you have a guess on where we're uh, going? <laughs> going to the Walmart. <laughs> Looks like we have a storm rolling in. If we do, I will make a video about it. My phone said 3 p.m. It's almost 4. Yeah. <laughs> it said it's supposed to storm by 3 p.m. Very precise. Yeah, it's just storming sunshine. So years ago, me and my daughter went to, uh, where did we go? Ca uh -huh. California to see her, uh, like half sister. And my daughter got to noticing on the way there, we were on I 5, that there were crows just hanging out on these, like, fence posts. Anyway, we uh, we stop and get something to eat. Uh, like a, I think we went to a uh, McDonald's drive-through, and there's a crow like standing off on the side, and the car I was in had power windows, and I rolled the passenger side window down. My daughter almost ended up in my fucking lap. One more. What? But. I thought it was so funny. She goes, she goes, crows are creepy, Dad. But uh, when I was rolling the window down, she was like, a freaking bar right there. she was like, fuck this, and started coming over on my side. They're not going to come in the car, weirdo. I mean, I've never seen that happen. Now, me, yeah, I'd be almost flew in my window yesterday. Oh, I got to like, I got a fucking bumblebee story. Years ago, I bought this 82 Dodge Ram. And I'm talking years ago, like it was two days after the uh, Twin Tower attacks. I'm driving home, and of course, you know, the $300 van, no air conditioning, so I got the windows down. And I hear something smack the driver's side mirror. Like, dump. I was like, what the fuck was that? Well, about a mile up the road, I started seeing something out of my lower vision moving, aka between my legs started moving. And it was a big ass bumblebee coming back to life or, you know, getting its bearings back going again after it smacked that, that mirror. I jammed the brakes on so hard on that van to get it to stop, pulled over onto the shoulder, just put the van up into neutral. As the van's still rolling, I jump out and I'm like running alongside it, take my hat off, swoop that bumblebee off the seat, and jump back in. Ruined the back tires on that van. Ruined them. They had tread almost all the way around, except for one spot that was black. The girl I was dating at the time was following me, and we get back, back home, and she's like, what the fuck was that all about? And I'm like, and I and I told her, and she goes, oh my God, if there's one place that a male does not want to get stung. Hi, everybody. Got my pizza. Had a woman in there offer, offer to buy me a uh, fun-sized bag of onions. That's why I like East Mesa. Everybody's nice over here. See, the thing was, I was in line. There were three women and a baby in a shopping cart. 
I mean, they were probably like my daughter's age, mid to late 20s. And they all were grabbing, you know, their their own, you know, one size bag of chips, like Cheetos and stuff. And I was like, well, I want some Funyuns. The woman grabbed a bag of Funyuns and was like, here, and I'm like, no, 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 you ain't got to buy me Funyuns. But the uh, fact that she was offering to buy me a bag of Funyuns. And yes, I don't care if you don't like bunions. My wife hates them. I love bunions. There's not much that you like that I like. Really. Yeah. Fucking bunions. Fucking candy corn. <laughs> Those fucking party pizzas back there. Bunions flavored candy corn. Fucking hot dogs. Or candy corn flavored bunions. Disgusting. <laughs> or Yeah. I eat real cheese. Oh. Uh, you can tell by the uh, sky. This is, is going to be fun. There's one mother effing lane over there. Yep. I shouldn't have done it. Just throw it around the goddamn block. I'm not going to get over there. Don't be honking at me. There's no room. How old are you? You're you're a uh, douche face poopy brain. <laughs> well, those are weird tail lights. craving pizza. I got four of those uh, party pizzas. Next time I go, we go shopping, I'll grab a, uh, a full-size pizza and do a video about our uh, air fryer oven thing, whatever you want to call it. Well, it's also it's also like a toaster oven and shit. But we got the uh, yeah, I make toast in it now. The uh, go go, go Mia toaster oven air fryer thing. It was a hundred bucks at Walmart. So that's got to be the best hundred bucks we ever spent. We haven't used our oven since we got it. It doesn't matter. Well, it depends on our not. At the one place, at the one job, I don't wipe that many butts. My butt's been wiped. And, like, because I work night shift, so it's mostly just sitting around at my weekend job. It's a lot of sitting. But yeah, we got this. Gore me a toaster of an air fryer thing. I'll it's make got laps. It's got the uh, double doors on it, which seem a whole lot safer than the one pull-down door, especially how hot that the doors get. Okay, let's go, dildos. This is a green arrow. Get your butt out of your, get your face out of your butt. Let's go. Get your butt out your face. They don't know what they're doing because it's like, I want to go that way. Well, sorry, straight. you can't go straight. Says you can't go straight, morons. But yeah, one time, one day, I uh, had this uh, regular Red Baron brick oven pizza, and I was like, "What if it fit in there? It fit in there, made that pizza perfect." So the next time I get one of those. Delicious Red Baron brick oven pizzas. I'll do a video about it. Because seriously, we haven't used our oven since we got it. Yeah, we have. I used it. 
<laughs> and the reason why my wife said appliance graveyard is because every now and then she'll get on this whim she'll see something on on the internet and think that she just has to have it and, and it sits on our counter I she use used, it like a dozen times and then forget about it I end up cleaning it and sticking it down in our appliance graveyard like we have a peeler and a slicer and <laughs> Where's my waffle maker? In the appliance graveyard. I didn't buy that though, that was free. In the appliance graveyard. My mini waffle maker. Yeah, it's well, like three. it's like a four inch waffle maker. The griddle one I bought from Griddle. That one's pretty cool. I made eight time. But you gotta put it on a plate because the egg yolk will 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 come over the edge. See, I don't have any kind of appliance graveyard. Because you have wieners. Basically, you I, microwave those. I need a microwave, a a burger to cook stuff on. I wouldn't even need a stove. And like we did in the freaking uh, trailer park. A coffee maker. We didn't have a stove there. We just had that electric grill. I mean, electric thing. Yeah. And that skillet thing. Burned out. We burned it up. Yeah. Well, yeah, because we used it multiple times a day, every day for three years. Of course, it's gonna get burnt up. Why are you just sitting there? It's a green light. Because they're probably gonna look at their damn phone. Because people can't move ten feet in their car without checking their phone. Mine's always on silent. Or vibrate. My volume for my calls is down. And I remember everything else is vibrating. My uh, daughter got all mad at me one day because I I never answered my uh, phone. So then we was over at her house and I turned the volume all the way up on it. And it kept going off, huh? It was and going. it didn't shut up for five minutes. Because not only do I have all the stuff tied to my Brooke Patriot channel all the social media stuff under the Broken Patriot channel name I've also got Big Mike's Kitchen all the social media tied to that Explore Arizona all the social media I tied, tied to that I'm gonna, and I'll be able to see. Hopefully, in a, another month, I'll be. Able, his pizza on his little why not? <laughs> why not? But I'll be able to see in a month, and gonna get oh, my. Shit. Then he's gonna know what I look like. Everybody. Well, people were like, "Will you be able to know <laughs> what know what you look like if you look in the mirror?" And I'm like, "I know I'm ugly." I know it. Which is why I've always said, if a woman wants to be with this, without it hidden with clothes on, I'm not saying no.
bucket was still living up there and I don't know what. The way that treadmill was sounding, it sounds like we just need to take that treadmill to a fucking dumpster. The treadmill's fine. Really? That's how treadmills sound. Oh. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with the treadmill. We'll just put the treadmill on some, uh, on some uh, rubber, rubber cushions. But yeah, I'm going to have both my computers sitting on one desk, two keyboards, two mice, and I'm going to have a row of monitors up above my regular monitors. So I don't have to have two desks and everything. Because I want to take, I've got a little four foot desk, but I don't want to set a computer up on it. I want it to be just a like work on stuff desk. But the upstairs is so nice there. the bolted ceiling. I'm getting better at that though. Because it only took six months. In the summertime, that extra height of the ceiling. Oh yeah, the heat goes up there. The heat goes up there. The only time it stuck to the other place is because I was up there. Yeah. That's why my room was always higher than balls. Like my room now. Do balls have a temperature? Probably. Yeah, 98.6. No. It's whatever your body temperature is. It could be anything. <laughs> my temperature is not 90. If I have a 98.6 I have a fever. My temperature is like 95, 96 mostly. <laughs> well, you're cold heart. So. <laughs> cold heart is late. Look into my eyes. What the? That just shows my age. Yep. Because <laughs> nobody probably knows what the fuck I'm talking yep. about. Yep. <laughs> Actually, when I used to set up concerts, I set up a concert for, for her. <laughs> Talk about a bitch. Two biggest bitch, bitch women that do concerts. Janet Jackson, Madonna. Yeah, but I was talking about, I was thinking Paul Abdullah. Oh, whatever. Okay, so we, you didn't know who I was talking about. Well, pretty much the same person. So if it rains later, I'll have well, video out by Bumblebee. It's in that area. And I'm like, yeah, no shit. I couldn't imagine getting stung in the uh, family jewels by a pissed off Bumblebee. And that $300 band was a great band. I don't even know how many miles a man had on it because none of the gauges worked. That van leaked so much oil that uh, after the first week I stopped uh, putting new oil in it and a buddy of mine worked at an oil change place. And I just go in there and just take a gallon jug, fill up, use motor oil. I feel like that'd be worse for it. Well, it's better than no oil on it. It didn't burn oil, it leaked it. Every seal on that engine was done for. Of course, looking at the van, it probably had like you know, half a million miles on it. And of course, because, uh, you know, back in the day, I liked really loud music. So in my $300 van, I put a 
$1,500 sound system in a $300 brand. It sounded real good. Had two 15 inch subs in it. Everybody thought I was crazy that, you know, $300 band and I'm putting over $1,000 in stereo stuff in it. But then we ended up painting it with a paintbrush and a roller. And it actually looked pretty good from like 10 feet back. It looked better than the uh, the two-tone red and white with the uh, rust. Okay, I'm gonna go in and get the pizza.